Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a short video about radio frequency interference and the steps I took to try to resolve it and the results of those steps. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, let's talk about RFI and solar panels. This is my solar panel installation on the back of my house. It was installed in 2015 and it consists of 38 panels. It was put together in about, uh, or installed in about two to three months, overall with permitting and everything else. The system is designed using 38 panels, approximately 10 kilowatts of power. It uses power optimizers on each panel. There's no micro inverters or string inverters. It uses a solar edge inverter to uh, connect to the utility grid. And there's a shutoff in the basement. Both of those are in the basement. The system went live in August of 2015. And as I became more active in amateur radio a few years later, um, in 2021, I noticed that there was RFI and spikes on certain bands. And this was becoming evident after I installed and used a software defined radio. If you want to see the full published story and the details of my design, and the performance of the panels over time, you can go to this article that's still available on the web. It's listed here. This is a shot of the solar edge inverter and the shutoff system. Uh, the solar edge inverter is wireless. You can query it and look at the performance of your panels, but you can also look on the local display here. And this particular display shows the amount of voltage DC that the panels are putting out, the conversion to AC, and how many panels are okay. So 38 out of 38 panels are working okay. And this is an indication of the current power, which is 5,531 watts. Um, it also has another nice display, which I use quite often, which talks about uh, how much kilowatt hours are produced in the day, how much in the month to date, and the year to date, and the total. So when I first saw the RFI investigation, uh, RFI, I started an investigation and I did a few things. First was to replace fluorescent lights in the home with quieter LEDs. The fluorescent lights I had were pretty noisy. I obtained an RF ammeter for some investigations. I put RFI beads, ferrite beads and toroids on power leads, especially on the switching power supplies that I had that powered the radio. I had some switching and some analog power supplies. I installed an extensive perimeter ground around the house. There's a YouTube video on that. I contacted other radio hams about their opinions on what this noise was, because it wasn't obvious to me. Uh, as I mentioned before, I acquired a, an SDR to analyze the radio spectrum of various bands. And I documented the RFI, took screenshots using the SDR. And I contacted the uh, overall installer of the system Sunrun and Solar Edge, the manufacturer of the inverter in 2022. That's when I began, began discussions. Okay, this is a screenshot of the SDR and this is the six meter band uh, using a beam, which I had. It was 3.40 p.m. in the afternoon. The Solar Edge inverter was powered on and you notice here that I had uh, a greater than S9 noise level. And that's shown here by this green bar as well. The center of this display is 52 megahertz, so it's the middle of the six meter band. And I also noted here that this had a much higher noise floor uh, than nighttime. And I sent these screenshots to uh, both Sunrun and Solar Edge to get their opinion. This is a uh, shot of nighttime noise. It's 10.22 p.m., six meter beam. Again, the solar in inverter powered on. I expected to have much less noise at night, but uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, the overall noise flow, uh, noise flow was lower. It was only about a uh, S6 or so, but there's still, as you can see here, a lot of spikes. So then what I did was I took uh, another uh, shot 
of 10 meters. And I did this in the afternoon using an off-center fed antenna with the inverter powered on again. And you can see I have a bunch of spikes here. Then I looked at the solar edge inverter at night uh, with, the, with the solar edge inverter turned off uh, 10 meters again. And you see it's, it's, a, it's less, it's a lot less, but it's still some spikiness there, even at night on 10 meters. So then I turned off the solar edge inverter. I cut the power everywhere, both the inverter and the, and the shutoff. I took a, a, a shot at 10.25 p.m. on the 6-meter beam, and you can see is a lot less noise. And the S level dropped probably to uh, a little under 4. So that kind of gave me a clue. Okay, so what happened after they installed new power optimizers? Well, after two years of me sending emails back and forth with the manufacturers, talking to Radio Hams, talking to the FCC. They finally decided after two years, this year in 2024, to replace the power optimizers. It was clear to me they knew what the problem was. Uh, they not only knew about it, they had a fix for it. And the only question was, were they going to do it and spend the money to, to retrofit my system? They did come out. Uh, they retrofitted my system. It took uh, them about, uh, uh, I think, about seven or eight hours with four or five guys. After the new power optimizers were installed, this is the results of the six meter beam at 12.15 in the afternoon. It's virtually clean. On 10 meters, it's virtually clean. This is the OCF antenna off center fed at 12.15. And there's some signals down here at the lower end of the band, but um, it's much, much better than that. So what's the summary of this? It took me almost two years to get this fixed. I think the key was perseverance and patience. Uh, keep pinging the, the manufacturer and the inverter manufacturer. I kept pinging everybody, asking what the schedule was. And finally, I got somebody who said it was approved, but they're trying to decide when to do it and how to do it, and uh, if they're going to pay for it. So they replaced the optimizers, and they also did some wire twisting up there, uh, free of charge. It took them, as I said, seven, eight hours on 38 panels with four to five guys. Only two panels had to be removed for them to get some space to move around up there. The rest modified in place. They also upgraded the firmware on the inverter because after about nine years, it was the firmware was pretty old. So what are my suggestions on this? Get a commitment from the solar company about RFI and writing before you buy the system. Mention to them that it's important to you to have a quiet spectrum. Tell them you're a ham radio operator and you need quiet spectrum. And again, just keep persevering. They know what this problem is. It's well known uh, in the industry, but you will have to force them to do it, um, especially for free of charge. So. That's about it for this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe. And um, thank you for watching.